Okay, now, so I'm going to give you an introduction of how we get sound into the ARIA mirror, and more importantly, how we sync this metering to this metering back here. Okay, so what we need to do to enable our meters is use our tone functionality. And you'll remember the sound of the tone if you've watched any other videos in this series. It sounds a little like this. Now, um, looking at the mirror right now, we're actually um, overdoing it at the moment, basically. And it's sounding a lot louder than it is on our sound devices. Our meterings are slightly off. So we're sending in more volume um, and more level into the mirror than we actually need to. Okay, so first we're gonna make sure that we're setting up our right output. And I've found uh, just through experimentation that we don't want to export at line level or output from line level. We want to do it at consumer line level, minus 10, which is funnily enough what I'm doing to get into the uh, Canon 7D that I'm shooting on as well. Um, so we are going out of the XLR right output uh, straight into the mirror, and we're going into the mirror at line level. Um, but funnily enough, we need to be at consumer line level for the output side of things, um, and you'll see in a second why that is. So that's all we need to set up on here. We already have in our systems menu the tone level at minus 20, and we have uh, one kilohertz tone, which is perfect for uh, syncing up and referencing later down the line in a studio environment. So let's jump over to the Aria mirror and see where we are at the moment. Okay, so I managed to get the um, tone set up. Right now you're seeing the info screen and um, there's a button just down, a dial switch down below, which starts with info, uh, then goes to one to two, three to four and setup. But this is the initial info screen. If I flick to one and two, we go into this menu and you can see on the B line level um, that I've added plus seven dB of gain. Um, we can use the uh, left rotary switch uh, to add this gain up and down. Um, and you can see if I do tone when there's no dB gain added, we come up short about eight dB. Um, we can also uh, press in and change our manual um, to auto, uh, but that would be more for an inbuilt microphone built on top of the mirror, then we can go down to roll off. And that's like just on your sound devices where you can uh, roll off at 80 Hertz. Uh, then we have monitoring and we can monitor with the left and the right, the left, the right. So that's personal preference for the camera. We can scroll down to B line and we can change it, change the source. Um, we've plugged into channel B at line level. And so that's why it's come up as that. So all that's left to do is press tone and then calibrate until it hits the minus 20 mark. Okay, and now my meter reflects exactly what is on the ARIA mirror. It should be noted that the metering might be slightly different because it's just peak and not VU. Um, so it won't necessarily give you as much information as the VU peak monitoring on the Sound Devices 688. Okay, now we've set up and calibrated, uh, we can just go to the next video for more settings.